Welcome. Today we delve into the perennial question, why do we act as we do? Philosophers have gr grappled with this inquiry for centuries, debating whether reason, emotions, or free will guide us. In this lecture, we will explore the intricate partnership between internal desires and external influences that shape human action. So first point of discussion, we have human intentions. Certain actions often stem from a spectrum of factors ranging from altruistic intentions to self-interest and personal gain. Intentions and influences exist on a continuum, illustrating the multifaceted aspects of human action. For instance, imagine someone who wants to be eco-friendly but lives in a culture of inconvenience. They might prioritize convenience despite their intentions. This shows how even well-meaning people can be swayed by societal norms. On the flip side, imagine a community working together to recycle trash bins. Their collective action yields positive results and highlights the potential for positive social influence. Now, for the second point of discussion, we have freedom. Freedom is defined or is often seen as the ability to act on your own, even against societal expectations. It is linked to the idea of free will, which is defined the ability to choose differently. Now, example, imagine someone pressured to pursue a high-paying career but chooses social work instead, following their values. This exemplifies how freedom empowers an individual to make choices based on his or own or or his on his or her own moral compass, breaking free from external expectations. Last but not the least, third point of discuss third point of discussion, we have deliberative coherence. This deliberative coherence simply means aligning hum uh, actions with goals. For instance, when a business leader prioritizes envir environmental benefits and implements and implements sustainable practices, they are demonstrating deliberate coherence. This kind of decision making involves reasoning and aligning actions with long term goals. But here's the twist. Things aren't always so clear-cut. Philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche argues that we're born with a multitude of desires, creating internal conflicts. This eternal dissonance challenges the idea of a single logical decision-making process, simply, uh, simply positing that our actions may be driven by a complex interplay of conflicting desires, and that this dissonance is a natural part of being human. Now, how do we reconcile these different views? First, we have determinism, the idea that everything is predetermined, doesn't necessarily negate our ability to make free choices. We navigate a predetermined world with our will and intentions. On the other hand, while the unconscious may play a role or a certain type of will may play a role in our actions, we can overcome predetermined patterns through practicing our own inherent personal agency. Additionally, despite internal conflicts, we can strive for coherence in decision-making through introspection and self-awareness. So in conclusion, understanding human action requires acknowledging this Inter the inter interplay of external and internal values. It's a complex dance between determinism, free will, social norms, and our eternal desires. By embracing this complexity, we gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Thank you.